Then we get to the other big conversation because the McDavid conversation wasn't enough. The Florida Panthers moved to 10 0 1 on the season by beating the Carolina Hurricanes, giving them their first loss of the season. They're down to 9 1 0. It was a 5 2 victory for the Cats. Uh, the Hurricanes had not given up more than three goals in a game. They gave up four goals in the first period alone to the Panthers. Uh, we'll talk about the big moment in the second because it did happen in the first, but to talk about the rest of the game really quickly, uh, Jesper Foss for Carolina has five goals. Like, okay. Uh, and then Duclair scored his seventh and eighth of the season. God, I wanted Anthony the Duclair. to pick him up. Fuck. Anthony Duclair has been great <sighs> for the Florida Panthers. Yeah. He's on a dirt cheap deal, too. Pretty much, yeah. The big moment of the game came in the first period as Ryan Lomberg uh, was assessed, I do believe, a match penalty. I might be getting the wording wrong there, but essentially penalized for the fact that he is in a foot race with a Panthers player. Antti Ranta comes sprinting out of the goal to play the puck, and Lomberg ultimately, yes, does end up having you know contact with the head of Antti Ranta, who gets hurt on the play. My opinion of this has not changed, whereas the McDavid goal, like, yes, I, I've softened my stance a little bit. Uh, I can't, I, I never called, I still can't help but say it, but the McDavid goal, I never said it was a bad goal, uh, just that my focus is more elsewhere. This, though, has, I, I still have the same opinion. This is Auntie Ranta's fault. Yeah. Ryan Lomberg, and I don't know who the Panthers, or excuse me, who the uh, Hurricanes player was that he was in a foot race with. Like, they're going for the puck. They're shoulder to shoulder. Lomberg wins the race to the puck. What is he supposed to do? Because, again, Sin talks about uh, really the, and I'm trying to think of the, the right word here. Uh, I'm going to go with ambiguity of the rules. Ranta is charging towards the puck. Is Ryan Lomberg supposed to give up on the play because the goalie's coming out? No. That's not in the rules, at least not that I know of. Ronta, though, as a left-hander, comes out, drops down to a knee to try and get enough behind the attempt to chip the, buck, uh, the, the puck towards the boards. There we go, if not the glass. I, I fail to see how this is Ryan Lomberg's fault. You could even tell at the end he tried to get out of the way. He won the race to the puck. He beat Ranta to the puck. If anything, he poke-checked it into Ranta's stick. I'm sorry, Ryan Lomberg did absolutely nothing wrong here, and I'm not saying goalies are fair game to steam train, but man, after what happened with Lucic and Miller a, almost a decade ago, you still haven't clarified this. I I don't have an issue and, whatsoever with what Ryan Lomberg did. No, and and what what Lucic and Miller happened that was completely different that was go man yeah. on goalie and and miller had already gotten the puck way the fuck out it wasn't that they were colliding and the puck was being played at the same time lomberg again he he doesn't have to slow up he's got the same rights to attack the game and attack the puck as everyone else does in that situation if the goalie wants to you know come out and do that that's got to be the risk you take you can't come out there thinking that you're fucking in um invulnerable out there or all, all protected mm -hmm. because collisions happen in hockey that's the nature of the game and yeah um unfortunately Lomberg actually trying to get out of the way probably made it worse than it was and made the yeah. head contact even more direct which again sucks and it kind of demonizes him he did the right thing in every single sense of the play he fought hard mm -hmm. he skated hard for the puck he won the battle he tried to avoid the contact but unfortunately mm -hmm. that's what actually made it worse um, I don't think they've DLPS has looked at it at all. I hope not. They uh, were as far as I know, it was just like the, the five in the game, the penalty that was involved, and that was that Good. was it. Okay, and yeah, and the, but then but now I question what is the point of the reviews? <laughs> because if I'm a ref and I'm looking at that and I'm reviewing, if I'm going to review the five minute major, I'm like, this isn't really his fault. This wasn't intentional. And he wasn't even it's it's different than a player because if you don't intend to hit someone in the head but you hit him in the head it's still head check but this is not that it's a goaltender so again yeah you mentioned it a lot of gray area when it comes to the rules in this case but uh, yeah I'm, I'm with you i don't think lumberg did anything wrong maybe having him taken out of the game is a good way to keep it under control as you mentioned the score being what it was 
the Hurricanes being, you know, pissed about, you know, no longer going to be undefeated and whatnot. And someone takes out your goalie. That guy's going to have a target on his back the rest of the game. You want to keep it under control. I can get it from that point. But yeah, Lumberg didn't do anything wrong right there. And Auntie Ranta, it's unfortunate, but he literally put himself in that position. That's the definition of putting yourself in a vulnerable position. It's essentially an end all turn it to you in a second here, but it's essentially the idea of, oh, well, the player has to to back out of the play, but the goalie doesn't. That's a dangerous that, precedent to set in hockey. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. Endo, your thoughts on this? So, um, I was taught that your crease is where you are. Uh, that's your that's your home. Treat your home as you will. Uh, protect You're your too home. good for your home? Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, anytime you leave that crease for that net area, it is fair game. It is completely, you are putting yourself vulnerable and out there. Uh, I think the it's, it's funny to say this, but the play that made me want to become a goalie was when Dominic Hasek tr- like charged that. I don't remember who it was, but um, he just he completely charged at a player and flipped them over. Yeah, that was the play. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a goalie because I want to do that. And then I started playing position. I'm like, shit, if I do that, I could I could die. Yeah. <laughs> um, another thing too is their goalie coach Jason Mazzotti. He needs to calm down his goalies. This is the second goaltender from the organization who's gone out of the net and got into an injury. First one was Mrazek. Now it's now it's Ranta. Like, what what are you what are you doing? What are you teaching these guys? Oh, just play it old school. I I don't get the idea too of you know. I, I mean, I'm going to presume obviously it was Ranta's decision in the moment, but even for Auntie Ranta, it's like you have a history of injuries. Yeah. And and you decided to risk it on that play yeah. when you're and I get it it's a really fast game mm-hmm. hindsight's twenty twenty but you know it didn't look like his player was going to lose the foot race to the puck like you yeah. talk about risk reward it's just what was the reward and uh, was the reward of successfully knocking it away that much worse well, or you know that much better or worth it a body presuming there. your player loses the foot race to the puck yeah, even if he does you have a body there it's not going to be one-on-one with the goaltender you had a guy and he had in- inside position your defender had inside position he could feasibly keep that shooter to the outside it didn't it didn't make logical sense but i will say if we are kind of done making points about the play itself um gentlemen yeah yeah i mean um, i just want to yeah, shout out brindamore so for saying, yeah, he's probably got a concussion. I want people to talk about concussions. I want coach to say in, in situations, yes, concussion. Because yeah. hmm. we always say, have this upper body injury and we're so got this air of mystery. My team is one of the worst about keeping these injuries all private, never talking about concussions and shit like that. And uh, I, I, we need, it needs to be said. And I don't, you know, it's again, it's not that it was the fault of Lomberg and not that I think you should feel bad. It's just, we need to talk about concussions because it's a game that we're trying to get rid of it. And yeah, in this situation, it's again, it's not necessarily on, on Lumberg, but yeah, it's to maybe discourage fucking goaltenders from doing that. It's again, risk reward, man. That wasn't nearly worth it. Yeah. I mean, again, you have two players, one from each side barreling towards the puck and it's just, it was uh, a bad, uh, bad decision yep. made by Ranta uh, with very unfortunate results. Again, obviously, we're hoping he's okay, and if he is hurt, that he's back soon. But, yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I, I do blame the NHL in part because of how lax the rules are and how they're written in regards to plays like this that we've seen happen a couple of times now. And I think, again... You leave too much up to interpretation. Stuff like this can ultimately happen. 